Hi, I'm Tony Carrick. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Christchurch, and today I'm going to be finding out about the heating and ventilation industry. Tony is joining the team at David Brown Contracting in Christchurch, a large heating and ventilation company who take on work all over the South Island. Hi, Tony. How are you? Good, thanks. Tim Brown from David Brown Contractors. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Welcome aboard, anyway. Right, let's go. Let's Tim Brown is the manager of the company. So air conditioning and ventilation is installed from houses, simply houses, right through to swimming pools, schools, prisons, hospitals, hotels. Basically we're trying to maintain an air quality inside those commercial buildings and we're trying to heat and cool the space via pipes and pipe work and, and air down ducting and, and that sort of thing. OK, so uh, this is the layout of the site at the Botanical Gardens. Tony's looking at the plans for an earthquake rebuild project in the famous Christchurch Botanic Gardens. Project very, very special case. There's a lot of big projects coming up. There's new police stations and justice precincts and sports stadiums and there's a real shortage of uh, staff at the moment. The company have the contract for all the new ventilation systems in the Botanic Gardens glasshouse and cafe area. Here we are at Botanical Gardens, Tony. Um, also, we lost the building in the earthquake and they've rebuilt the new building. Up here is the new heating and cooling pipe work. The pipe work goes back down into the boiler house over there. So that's 80 degree water through the steel pipes, that's why it's in steel. Yep. And the green pipe is only artesian water, so that's out of the ground. All right, Tony, we'll go into the boiler house here where obviously the hot water is generated. Here's a bit of pipe work here. As you can see, some lagging's been put on this bit down the bottom here, yep. so very similar to this. I want you to put on a bit of lagging from here up just under that welding joint just there. The kind of stuff we're looking for are energetic, conscientious people who take time and have pride in their work, um, like to learn new things. Yep. It's hard work. You're up scaffolds, you're on ladders, you're working with a range of tools, battery drills, angle grinders, pot riveters. Put some tape down there. Nice tight finish just like that, keeping the gap small as possible, obviously. So we need um, key guys that are keen to learn and are hard working. And that's pretty good work too. I'm going to introduce you to Colin now. And he's going to show you the process of putting a pipe onto an elbow. OK, sweet. This is a relatively new product, a lightweight pipe that performs well in earthquakes. And it also can be installed quickly using heat to bond the ends together. Taking it on, putting on the element, push it until it's home. Push it together, turn around and hold it for a count of 30, and after that you should be able to put it up in place. I like the variety. Um, one minute you can be on a construction site putting in pipe work, next minute you can be on the top of a 20 storey building putting in some ducting, next thing you could be in a basement doing all sorts of stuff. So you get to travel around, go to different construction sites right through the South Island, making ducting, making pipe work to on site to installing ductwork and installing pipe work. There's a really good variety of work you could do in this industry. Phil Meta Kingi is in his third year of apprenticeship. He's showing Tony how to use the threading machine. Do you feel it was a good decision doing your apprenticeship? Oh, definitely the best decision of my of my life is um, yeah, yeah, just to get those qualifications. Um, it, it, it just sets you up uh, in a better position for, for, for later on in life. Phil's progress as an apprentice is being checked out today. Matthew Robinson from Competence is visiting and Phil will graduate in just a few more weeks. Qualifications are very powerful, they're recognised all throughout the country um, and for later on after finishing your apprenticeship you can move into supervision work or uh, with management or go down more of a technical path. The installation of ducting, which conducts either hot or cold air around a building, is a big part of the job. When you take this bit of galvanised sheet metal, put it on top of here, line it up with the holes and put some pot rivets in. What's involved with the rivets? The rivets? This here is a rivet. Basically, we're going to put this end into the ducting, pull it up tight, snap it off to close the, to close the ducting up. Ducting is a huge part of the industry. Every building, every building needs ventilation. Every building needs ducting. Every building has got to either bring air in to warm the space up or remove excess air out just for an air changeover for building quality. You've got to make sure you have nice, clean, fresh air. Back at the company workshop, the David Brown staff are fabricating a new ducting product that performs well in earthquakes. So we've tried to start using a new product called Cool Duct, which is a lightweight ducting. Um, it's poly panel sheets and you glue them together and you put them in ceiling spaces. In lieu of sheet metal, it's lighter, it's easier to use and it makes the, um, the users down below, the office workers, feel more comfortable in that environment knowing that it's not going to fall down on your head yet. It's a lot lighter and a lot cleaner. Clive, I'd like to introduce you to Tony. Hi, Tony, this is Clive. Maintenance of existing systems is a big part of the job. 
maintenance engineer Clive Wardoff is taking Tony out to a brand new installation at a local aquatic centre. So I started off with a passion for engineering yeah. and I was working for a plumbing firm when I was 13. Oh, true. I'll be still holders. <laughs> Where I was working, the apprentices outnumbered the fitters. Of a three to one, yeah. Oh. And you'll only get engineers to train you properly if you show keenness and enthusiasm. Yeah. The Selwyn Aquatic Centre opened recently and has very sophisticated energy saving systems for both ventilation and pool water heating. It's all completely state of the art technology. For heat recovery systems, it's, it's really the best there is at the moment. It's all digital pulse and computer pulses, and um, you've got to know your way around the computer, you've got to know your way around electricity, and you've got to know what the mechanical plant should be doing mechanically, what it physically does. Uh, I mean, temperature changes, pump changes, valve changes, flow rates. You've got to be able to absorb all this and use it to make its optimum efficiency for working. A heat recovery system takes warm air from inside the building and uses it to warm the fresh air entering. Outside on an upper level, a heat pump system is employed for heating the pool water. Rather than um, old fashioned boilers and old fashioned electric heating elements, we're using top of the range European heat pump systems, which are quite big and quite complex. For Tony, it's been quite an eye opener. There's so many areas to eventually specialise in. I think it's a fantastic industry. I just uh, think there's so much variety. My guys are really happy. Uh, there's plenty to do. There's heaps of opportunity. You can earn some really good money in this industry. Um, you set yourself some challenges and goals every week. Yeah, I think it's really good. OK, Tony's done really well today. He's taken a really positive attitude to this industry. He's learned things quickly. He's adapted himself. He's worked well with others nicely. I think Tony's going to make it really well in this industry. I really enjoyed working here over the last few days. It seems like it's a lot of hard work and there's a lot to learn. There's a Level 4 National Certificate in Heating, Ventilating and Air Conditioning and Competenz will assist you to complete your apprenticeship. There are no specific entry requirements but NCEA English and Maths is recommended and you should take the opportunities your school offers to do work experience programs such as Gateway. You earn and learn on the job. New Zealand is experiencing a trades shortage, so there are huge opportunities for skilled tradesmen, particularly in Auckland and Christchurch. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.